Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien and Bubba here on Saturday, November 30th. Oh, it's rivalry weekend in football, huh? The Iron Bowl, Alabama, Auburn, Michigan, Ohio State, Florida, Florida State. Oh, the good guys, huh? Uh, oh, Georgia, Georgia Tech. Don't forget that. Uh, anyway, uh, wanted to continue the video that I started this morning on Tulsi Gabbard. Uh, and I want to throw this out there. I know a lot of you don't listen to me. I only got eight subscribers. But to me, uh, to rescue the Democratic Party, and I'm not a Democrat, and I'm not a Republican, I'm neither pro nor con of each of you guys. You know that every time I say Democrat, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it's like having jalapenos, you know? I mean, it, uh, my throat gets sore and warm and <laughs> something about you Democrats but anyway to save your party the best ticket that I could come up with is Tulsi, uh, Tulsi Gabbard and Caroline Kennedy yeah I know and you guys are going to say what <laughs> but stand back and look at it Tulsi Gabbard's a congresswoman unknown, yes. But suddenly, Jimmy Who was unknown, right? I mean, she can't be as bad as Jimmy Who or as bad as Trump. I mean, she seems to have some head on the shoulders that neither Jimmy Carter nor Trump, when they were at the same time they were president, seemed to have. And then you got Caroline Kennedy. She doesn't have the excess baggage of her family. Not like her brothers and cousins and uncles. <clears throat> had and she's done uh, not quite political stuff but she was ambassador of Japan and she did a good job there I mean uh, the relationship that she forged with the outgoing and the new emperor Akihito and now that his son is the emperor and the prime minister of Japan uh if you look at the time she was in Japan and the relationship before she got there and after she left, you would see that there is a marked difference in the Japanese relationship with Americans. But Trump is president, so you got to put a hesitant on that because he seems to destroy relationships. <laughs> anyway, but you see what I mean? If, if you have a formidable uh, Tulsi Gabbard, Caroline Kennedy... You can go over the 48%, maybe 49 50. I mean, you, you can give Trump a serious run for his money because those two ladies both have a head in their shoulders. I mean, you, you can't sell uh, Caroline Kennedy short. She's got a brain behind that uh, cute face of hers. And although all the other Kennedys outshone her, I believe that she is the one that has the mantle of the Kennedy family. So, you know, if you put Tulsi Gabbard and her as your two candidates for president and vice president in 2020, not even the deplorables can save Trump, really. Because those two ladies, uh, if uh, you have Tulsi Gabbard and uh, you have Caroline Kennedy and some good advisors that tell them, okay, ladies, let's go this way. Don't attack Trump because he is a counterpuncher. And he'll counterpunch you. So let him make his gaffes. He does that a lot. Let him gaff before you do and he counterpunches you. Because if he counterpunches you, you look bad. But if he makes a gaff and he tries to counterpunch, it looks bad on him. You see what I mean, Americans? But this is just me. I only got eight subscribers, and I don't think any of you would listen to me anyway. But Tulsi Gabbards and uh, Caroline Kennedy... There is your dream team. You can pull at least 48 to 50 percent. And you don't have the negatives that Hillary Clinton had. And you don't have the negative that Trump has on the Republican side. Hey, she can even pull in some of those uh, Reaganites over to her side. You know, and then you have the conservative Republicans on the Democratic side because... Tulsi Gabbard and uh, 
especially Caroline Kennedy, are more on a centrist, slightly to the left, but they have, you know, uh, their views have turned in a little bit to the right. So they can go either way. But they know that there is a hedge on either side on the road. They know there's a shoulder that you don't go by. And that's what I like about those two ladies. Anyway, this is your favorite alien and Bubba suggesting this. Tulsi and Kennedy for President 2020.